Hello everybody, GamerPenny here bringing you a brand new series for our YouTube channel. We are going to be playing through a game called West of Loathing. Now this game is by Asymmetric Publications, it is an indie game. Uh, it is on Steam for about, I think we got it for like 10 bucks I think. Um, this is an adventure game that I don't know a whole lot about. I saw one of the live streamers that I watched, Dan's Gaming, play it for just a little bit. Um, I watched her about five minutes and realized that this is a game that I would love to play. <laughs> so that's as much as I know about the game. Uh, it is adventure like Thimbleweed Park, which we just wrapped up on the channel. So let's go ahead and get started and see what this game's all about. Um, wanted for protagonizing. <laughs> Edit your name. Can I do s Reward, 920 meat. 970. Is this, like, does this matter? Okay. Edit your name. Uh, okay. Wanted for protagonist. Oh, we're shooting that. Whoops. Change your character. Sally Johnson. Oh! Lou Oakley. Percy Moyer. Grizzly Wayne. Lee Cartwright. Cecil Barkley. Oh, so this just changes Cat Cogburn, Ren Roosevelt, Catherine Barth, Bernadette Smith. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, I think Katarina Goldways, Cat Autry. Doesn't that sound great? All right. Uh, but I want some more meats. thousand let's do like there all right i don't know what it does <laughs> but we'll go ahead and play it <laughs> um i had the strangest dream i was choosing a character class <laughs> cow puncher bean slinger or snake oiler so this looks like range melee and magic um, let's try Bean Slinger. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing, and the Bean Slinger is the mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally <laughs> killed by the cows. <laughs> yep, I want to be a Bean Slinger. Your room. We have zero meat. W-A-S-D. Oh. Comb hair. <gasps> you comb your hair one last time. Progress towards next clip. We gained one XP. Hi. Hey, Russell. <laughs> what are you doing? Caw. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw. Feed Russell a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Uh... Goodbye, Russell. Be good. Are we, like, what are we doing? We're trying to leave. That's what it told. Did we let him out? Uh, maybe it's time for you to leave too. You open your bedroom window, window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, caws one last time, then flies away to the west. Oh, bye, Russell. <laughs> Pull the needle, but I like the music. Can we turn it back on? There. Okay. What's this? You read the spine of one of your books, The Occurrence of the Terrible Castle. Mom gave me this one a few years ago. Jean Drew and the Eerie Woods. Escape from the Old Bridge. Who's Rufus? Like this one as much as I did. Biff Danger and the Spooky Church. <laughs> the Adventure of Vulture City. Curse of the Haunted Grove. Oh, oh we got some walking stupid. <laughs> oh, so we have an in we have a character. Oh my god. Cat Autry, being slinger. Stomach Your stomach capacity determines how many food items you can eat before you need a nap. Also, you can't take naps. You can only go to sleep <laughs> for an entire night. Liver. Your liver capacity determines how many alcoholic drinks you can handle before you have to sleep it off. 
Your spleen capacity determines how many potions you can use in a day. I see. Max HP, hit points. Hit points determine how much damage you can take before you're knocked unconscious. Being knocked unconscious means you lose whatever fight you're in as far as you know. Speed. Speed determines who goes first in combat. If your speed is higher than that of your primary enemy, your team will go first. Otherwise, theirs will. If both sides have equal speed, there will be a coin flip to see who goes first. West may be brutal, but it is fair. Spell damage. This bonus makes your spells do more damage. Okay, that's gonna be what we want. Muscle. Mysticality, moxie, grit, gumption, glamour. Hellbender. You tamper with the forces of nature, making yourself a force of nature. Plus one spell damage. Oh, outfoxen. Smarter than a box of rocks. <laughs> lava fava. Summon a fava beam made of boiling lava. Curl it at your unsuspecting foes. Oh my god. <laughs> bean shield. Conjure up a whirling sphere of beans that will protect you from melee attacks. Mm, okay. Glamour. Uh, glamour is your appreciation of the finer things of life. As it is, as it increases, you'll be able to consume more cocktails. Gumption, your level of get up and get her done. The higher it is, the quicker you are. So this gives us plus liver and meat gains. This gives us Spleen capacity, AP and speed, HP, stomach capacity. Moxie affects how much damage you do deal when shooting. Mr. Kelly, okay, and this must be, all right, got it. Got it. Um, inventory, walking stupid. This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who is really, really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking as an option, what? You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupid. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. Got a perk, stupid walking. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times <laughs> while trying to pick it up. Oops. Uh, so options. You, your gear, info, your stuff. You got nothing else. Is that this? Stupid walking. Some of them aren't even really walks. What do we- Oh my god. Okay, well, we're definitely keeping that on. Can we leave? Okay. Stack of firewood. There we go. Progress. Oh, we stacked it. And we got one XP from that. The hearth pulley. This hearth really puts hearth and hearth and home. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Is mom's pie safe? I can't use it. You will miss family meals. Oh, no, I didn't want to go out here. Let's go back in. Nothing on the hat rack today. No hats. What's in here? You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Solutio problematis ad geometrium situs pertinent. How many different languages do you need to know to learn about numbers? Pick up one of your brother's weird books. Uh, on the application of dynamics of a general mathematical method previously applied to OPIC. So our brother's like super smart. How many? Okay. Oh. We got a puzzle cube. Look at our walking. So tidy. It's covered with his weird diagrams and charts. Puzzle cube. Oh, your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple of moves. Hooray! We got one XP from it. Cool. Ah. We ice skating. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Stupid walking. Who's out here? Is this mom? Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks. The one about desert survival. The one about bartering. Ooh, which one do we want? Probably picking locks, huh? Or does it? I feel like picking locks will get us some cool stuff. That's the one. Enjoy it. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I will, Mom. Goodbye. Locks and how to pick them. Gives you the lock picking expertise skill. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. <laughs> go orphans, go. Oh my goodness. Was that my cat or was that the game? That was my cat. <laughs> Back behind me. 
Hello, who's this? Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. <laughs> His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. Can of infinite beans. Thank him. Good good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Here's our little brother, who's smart. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Here's your puzzle. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. It's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To help people? To seek my fortune? To get off this stupid farm? Oh, let's say we want to help people. You've read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. That statistic is before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'd be dead by Crimbo. I miss you, Rufus. Okay. Give him a playful punch in the arm. Cute. What do we get? Oh, it said new, but nothing's there. Okay. Oh, just <laughs> maybe because... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Maybe because the puzzle box is gone. No time to screw around in the woods. Whoops. Time to head west. I just wanted one more hug before I leave. Oh, Dad, can I have your hat? Barely best for him if you just go. Oh, dig through the haystack. You got a needle. Oh, we found a needle in the haystack. Oh, my God. Rufus. Weird kid. All right. Are we ready to head out? What does the needle do? It's not for sewing. It's for picking locks. <gasps> That's perfect. Oh, look at this roll. Go west, young woman. Yes. So we don't even need the mouse. But I'm still going to use it. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. West of Loathing. Oh, it's the opening credits. We'll let them play. Man, bumpy ride, huh? <laughs> Maybe don't stand up on that. Do we get hat? Like, can I get a hat in this game? This is as much as I've seen. What? Oh, <laughs> we pounding those down. Stunt coordinator. <laughs> is tossing that turnip a stunt? Those are turnips or? I would assume they're turnips. We must really be bored on the back of this. <laughs> <clears throat> I like this game so far. I, 200 miles later. Holy cow. <laughs> Yikes. Watch out for that rock. Whoa. Ah! Okay, bye. <laughs> well, the bad news is that you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. <clears throat> Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold. Cold. Oh, it is a turnip. Got dusty turnip. Can I get this rock? Hi. Buffalo gals. Want you burp tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, we don't want to go there. Oh, my God. The stupid walking is hilarious. What's this say? Sign on the door reads, Gone Drinking. Oh. Yuck. I can guess what that Step in it again. Yuck. 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 Um, dusty turnip. Increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. <gasps> Alright, well, let's hold on to that. Yuck. Yuck. Well, here's the bar. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I, you can't drink in here without a hat. Taint proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check out the box. You look through the hat box and find a magical black Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Barely enchanted hat. <laughs> Grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir. Pete. Thanks, Pete. Gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, gal. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. All right, I'll keep that in mind. We got a new hat. <clears throat> Brilliant enchanted hat. 
Can of infinite beans. What does this hat do? One plus one mysticality. Oh. We got gear and everything in here. Spit? It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking at it. It's absolutely disgusting. <coughs> Let's look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum. And it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't- I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? <gasps> you reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. Smells like the vomit tro trough of a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. Got a nasty ring. <laughs> nasty ring. What does it do? Plus one muscle, one Mr. Kelly, one Waxy. Oh! We're doing great so far. Z is sleeping. Hi. These guys are playing poker. Or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck. Biting their lips and concentrating real hard. <gasps> Requires 20 meat. Good luck, guys. Okay, well, we can't do anything. Hey, Pete. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, claim jumping machines can't trust them no more than a darn rattlesnake. Uh-huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. Alright. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs. 25 meat each. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Cat. What brings you to our little backwater? Do you have any work? Oh, the usual. I come out west to make my fortune, not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend taking the rail talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. The railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that. Okay, what about Dirtwater? Dirtwater is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law. But not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. Yep, if I were a younger man, I'd probably head that way myself. And what about the errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg has always fallen apart in one way or another. The hot hostlers always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no account sheriff, sheriff <laughs> could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I could probably handle a goblin. Uh, much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. Can we actually handle the goblin? Hi, friend. Howdy, I'm Cat. Howdy, Cat. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm the town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. <laughs> oh, is that why you're drinking here instead? Uh, yep, and me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. We could get a horse? Hello, the woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Here's a hat box. You already have a hat. What would you do with two? What? What if I want to? Is that the basement? I should probably leave him alone. And there's lost mugs that we can find somewhere. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? 
That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester her. Why is that? Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Alright. I've already plumped the depths of the spittoon and your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh my god, look how we're doing the cat the cat butt. <laughs> okay. So I think this is the basement. Effective again. Liquid in this can can is actually very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. The item is used in combat. Effective against goblins. Alright. Can we save in the middle of this? How do you save? Save in Oh no. Do we start right where we left off? We do. Okay. Whew. Gosh. I was like, oh no, did I ruin everything? Okay, so that's how we do it. It just automatically saves. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and end the episode here then. When we come back, we'll go in this basement and take on that goblin. So guys, I hope you're excited about this new series. It's really interesting to me. Uh, I know it has its own unique art style in that it's all stick figures. Um, but I've heard great, great things about this on Steam. All the reviews were overwhelmingly positive. Everyone who's played it said it's actually a really, really great game. So, uh, I hope you're looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. I'm super excited about this game. So, thank you so much for any support you want to show on this series. If you do want to see more of the West of Loathing Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. What you doing? Alright, bye-bye everyone.